Wow. That's what they say. With us, microns matter. And people don't consider the fact that parts like this that go inside people's bodies, it could be injection molded, or parts like this could be used to go into a cell, grab the embryo that's in that cell, suck it out without destroying the cell. I'm Stu Kaplan from Makuta Techniques Incorporated. We specialize in the science of micromolding. We are the world's largest and oldest micromolder. If you're an engineer and you're looking for small parts that are measured in microns, we will give you the option to be creative, inventive, and be able to come up with a solution because of the science of micromolding. Microns are all we deal with. Microns matter to us. The science of micromolding is being able to do things in plastic that basically have not been done before. Not only because of the design of the pieces, but because how we process parts. These are examples of the largest parts we make. We make big parts like this that have micron tolerance features in them. For example, this is a needleless drug delivery device with a 150 micron hole at the tip. And this is used in an IV bag system, another drug delivery device, that has 200 micron pins and flow paths to it. We go from these down to, in this vial, there are 7,000 gears that have teeth that have spaces of 77 microns between them. The gears are used in ophthalmic surgical devices. This is that gear blown up 300 times. If you think about the tolerances that we're dealing with, when our molds are brought in to us, brand new mold, our technicians immediately, we will take that mold completely apart, measure every component. Again, an example of what our mold makers are able to do. How many times have you changed a cartridge on a printer? Inside that cartridge, there are various gears, bearing retainers. Here is a part that goes inside. There is a concentricity or a roundness call out of plus or minus seven microns. 60 microns is usually the diameter of someone's hair. If that concentricity, that plus or minus seven microns is not held, then you don't get a document, you get a piece of artwork. Here's an example of two-shot injection molding at the micro level. This is a part that goes inside a syringe. There is a synthetic rubber material used in this called TPE and a polypropylene. This is a sensor that is used to detect poisonous materials made using a multi-material injection molded system and then the uh, PCB or printed circuit board is assembled. This component is called an embryo cradle. It's used in extracting embryos from cells, either in stem cell research or fertility. So we start with the concept, go all the way through from prototype to production. Materials that we use, any engineered resins, resins from polycarbonate going up to custom materials like Peak or Vespel. Vespel runs at about 430 centigrade. So varieties of materials for varieties of industries. Makuta Techniques Incorporated is located in Shelbyville, Indiana, just about 30 minutes east of Indianapolis. We run our place seven days a week, 24 hours a day, without people. We have a 98.8% uptime. At Makuta, microns matter.